Hello. Happy Sunday to everyone. All right, happy Sunday, happy Sunday. This is another edition of um, one of our many D um, DIY videos. Um, once again, my name is Ola, Ola Additional. Um, for those that don't know me or will be seeing my video for the first time, I am a New York State licensed cosmetologist. I am the founder of All Things Natural. And briefly this afternoon, I'm going to be teaching us um, a DIY method of how to use ACV as a scalp treatment. Um, and what is ACV? ACV is um, apple cider vinegar, a popular um, apple cider vinegar that everybody knows. Um, that is what is popularly called ACV. And this afternoon, briefly, I'm going to be sharing with us how to use it as a scalp treatment um there's so many um there's so many stuffs in our kitchen that we use for cooking that we can also use um for our air and for our scalp and acv is one of them i particularly like acv because acv is good for um digestive issues it's it's um a must in my kitchen i always have it in my kitchen because um i find it very useful um, every time that I have um, a digestive problem, which sometimes happens when I eat too late at night, um, ACV happens to, um, to work very well. So, I'm going to jump right into it. Um, this video is going to be um, downloaded on my YouTube page, my Facebook page, and on my, um, on my IGTV on Instagram. So, um as many that are not joining me joining me live now feel free to um, check all of my other social media platforms for this video and um, I hope that um, we'll be able to learn one or two things from this video and um, let's let's get started so ACV apple cider vinegar the popular apple cider vinegar that you buy anywhere you, you can it's sold anywhere in stores I advise that when you buy it, buy the one that says with the mother. Apple cider vinegar, but the one that says with the mother. I prefer that one because it contains um, proteins, it contains um, some enzymes and some good bacteria. Um, so normally when you buy the bottle, you feel like um, there's some, like you can see some particles in the bottle, like some moving particles. That's the mother. That's the apple cider vinegar with the mother. And those particles are actually the enzymes and the proteins and the good bacteria that we need. ACV is um, very popular. Um, you, some people use it to cook. Some people use it as a preservative. Some people use it for digestive issues. I use it all the time for digestive issues because it, for me it's like magic. When I am constipated and I put it in a little um, warm water, it is, um, it is very good for, for constipation. But... Sometimes um, in summer of, of this year, I, I've, I've always been hearing about ACV, and, um, but I've never actually really tried it. But I got introduced to ACV by um, a friend who happens to be an herbalist. She used herbs to formulate um, products. And um, she was talking to me about ACV, and then I started using it. And I realized that um, it actually really worked very well. So... This Sunday, I'm going to be teaching us how to use this as a scalp treatment. Every substance, like we know, um, I'm trying not to get too much into chemistry, 
but I need to be, to break it down so that we can understand why we're using ACV as a scalp treatment. So every substance has a potential hydrogen, which we call a pH level. Every substance has a pH level, and a pH level means um, a pot potential hydrogen. So every substance has it. And a potential hydrogen ranges ranges from 0 to 14. And um, for ACV, ACV has a potential hydrogen of 2 to 3, which means that it's mildly acidic. Any substance that has a potential um, hydrogen of 0 to 14, it starts from 0 to 14. Um, from 0 to 6 is acidic. 7 is neutral. Anything above 7 to 14 can be said to be alkaline. So, let's have that at the back of our mind. Any substance has a, a potential hydrogen. Potential hydrogen is just the measurement of acidity or the um, alkalinity of, of any substance. And it ranges from 0 to 14. ACV has a potential hydrogen of 2, 3. 2, 3 um, levels can be said to be mildly acidic. 7 is neutral. Anything after 7 is alkaline. So, the reason why we are using ACV to treat our scalp problems is because it helps with dry scalp. It helps with itchy scalp. It helps to reduce dandruff. It helps sometimes with psoriasis. So, with that being said, the good bacteria in ACV, the proteins and the enzymes, helps to balance um, the pH level of our scalp. The pH level of our scalp and our hair is between 4 and 5.5. And sometimes the reason why we would have itchy scalp or dandruff or um, dry hair, frizzy hair and all of that, and so sometimes it's because we've used so many products that cont we, we use different products that actually contains um, a high level of alkaline in it. And because the pH level of the scalp and the air is between 4 and 5.5, when we go and use products that are alkaline, more than 7, it tends to disrupt um, the potential hydrogen of the scalp. And that's why most time some people's scalps are itchy, sometimes our hair is dry, sometimes our hair is, um, is freezing, you know. When you start itching, occasionally your scalp is dry, just know that the potential hydrogen of your scalp is not balanced. It's not balanced because, probably because of relaxers, when you put chemicals on your scalp, when you put dyes, bleach, for those of us that are, love to bleach our hair, you know, you bleach red today, yellow tomorrow, orange tomorrow. What you're actually doing is that the potential hydrogen on your scalp becomes imbalanced, and that's why sometimes we feel like our scalp is itchy or we have too much dandruff or our hair is too dry acv helps to balance the potential hydrogen of our scalp if you have dry air you know when i started trying it out for me i realized that it was magic it was working like magic for me and that is what i'm just going to be showing us today this is a very cheap and easy way to treat dry scalp frizzy air air that is dull looking um, hair that has dandruff it minimizes dandruff a lot and what we have to do is because acv is mildly acidic the potential hydrogen of acv is between two and three which makes it mildly acidic it is not advisable that you put acv directly on your scalp because it's acidic and sometimes when you use too much of alkaline products Let's put bear in mind that alkaline and, and acid, um, as both of them, it ha there has to be a balance in between the both of them. So, when you use too much of a product that the, 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 um, the pH level is above 7, your scalp um, is going through um, an imbalanced phase. It, it, what I'm trying to say is that your scalp, the potential hydrogen of your scalp, is imbalanced because you've used too much of alkaline so now you need to put a little bit of acid on your scalp to be able to keep it at the level 
where it is supposed to be, which is supposed to be a 4 to a 5.5 to balance it out. And that is simply what we do with ACV. When that itchiness and that um, dry looking and dandruff, when it starts, the reason why we are using ACV is because ACV contains, it contains acid. And we're trying to use acid to balance the pH of our scalp that has already been disrupted by using um, too much of alkaline products. And I said that the way that you would know that your scalp is not balanced, the potential hydrogen on your scalp is not balanced, is when you have applied too much relaxers, um, or you've used relaxers too often, um, you've applied um, chemicals um, like such as dyes, bleach, and for those of us that love to bleach our hair, it disrupts the potential hydrogen in our scalp and it becomes imbalanced. And that's why we need to balance it with acid. With that being said, it is not advisable that you put acid directly on your scalp. So don't watch my video and say all I said to put ACV on your scalp. Don't do that because it is acidic. What you want to do is that you want to mix it. Um, I When I do it, I like to do one part of ACV to four parts of water. And what I mean by that is whatever measurement you're using, um, maybe you're using um, you're using uh, um, ml, you're using ounces, or you're using grams. Whatever measurement that you want to stick to, it is one part of ACV to four parts of water because we don't want to apply acid directly to our scalp. Because the scalp is sometimes dry and itchy, some people would have inflamed scalp some people's scalp will be itchy some would have like open wounds so you don't want to put um you don't want to put raw acid on your scalp you want to dilute it with water to be able to um, calm down the acid level of the acv and so what i love to do this is the um apple cider you can buy it in store i think this old bottle is like um seven or eight dollars um, on Latayo, thank you for joining me. I hope that you would um, learn some DIY methods from this video. And um, apple cider vinegar I bought from the store. And um, any other, um, what I do is that for me, because I formulate my own products. Um, Siobhan, thank you for joining me. Good to see you here. Happy Sunday. Because I formulate my own products. Um, what I do is that I add some other things to my own um, ACV when I when I you know when I do um, the solution. So what I do is that this is the ACV, and this is just a jar that I use to um, steep or infuse some of my products. What I went further more to do was to add rosemary to my own formulation. Rosemary. Is a culinary herbs that most people have in their kitchen. I love rosemary because rosemary is good for the hair. Um, it helps your hair to grow. It keeps the hair shining. It's it's very good for the hair, and I always love to have rosemary in all of my formulations. So what I did with my own ACV was that I bought when I bought the ACV, I poured it into the jar and I infused it with my rosemary. The rosemary looks um at similar time time is another spice that is a culinary spice that some people have in their kitchen and rosemary is similar to time and what i did was i i infused rosemary in my own acv for some weeks two weeks three weeks four weeks it depends on what you want to do and um, and then i drained it out and after draining my acv um this is um this is this is my drained out acv so it's optional. You don't have to put rosemary. Rosemary is just um, an, an herbs that I love that is in most of my hair products. So you don't have to do it. But basically, all you need is ACV, apple cider, vinegar, and water. And like I said, the reason why we're using ACV is because ACV is mildly acidic. The reason why your scalp is itchy, why your hair is dull, is freezy, is not looking healthy is because the potential hydrogen of the scalp is between 4 and 5.5 and once the potential hydrogen of your scalp is disrupted by using products that are alkaline unfortunately there's not um so many ways that we can actually know what products are alkaline 
because you know when you go grab a product from the store it doesn't say that you know this product contains um, a pH level of above 7 the only way that you know that your scalp is imbalanced is if your scalp is constantly itchy you're suffering from dandruff and you tending to use so many things and you don't know what is going on the first thing to do is to check the products that you're using some stores uh, maybe Sally or Walmart will um, have potential hydrogen um, strips that they sell and those strips you can actually put them in your product when you buy the product from the store to check for the level of the acid or the alkaline in that product if you're buying the product and the potential hydrogen when you put that strip in that product it comes out as above seven it means that that product contains too much of alkaline which is not good for your hair because it is above seven the potential hydrogen on your scalp is supposed to be four and five point five so once the alkaline level on your scalp is too much it is now necessary to use acid to balance it with that being said do not put raw ACV on your scalp. It is going to burn. And my recommendation is one part to four part of water, which is what I do. Rosemary that I mentioned about earlier is just something that I love to add to my ACV. I infuse it into my ACV for a couple of weeks and then drain it out and save it. ACV is self-preserving. You don't need to put it in the fridge or in the freezer. One part of ACV to four parts of water. I love to use ounce. I find it um, easier to use ounce. Um, don't forget that I said any measurements that you want to use is fine. Grams, um, milliliters, um, ounce, kg. Just make sure that whatever you're doing is one part of ACV to four parts of water. So I am going to start. And what I love to do is that I, if I'm doing it in um, in a large quantity that I want to keep for a um, couple of days, I would normally use one ounce. I would use one ounce to eight ounce. So my ACV, this is a measuring cup, is going to be one ounce. That is exactly one ounce of ACV. And then to four parts of water. My four parts of water is going to be eight ounce of water. So, and you can use any any water you you can just use regular water from the tap. You don't have to um, go buy purified water. Or I just happen to have this one at home, and I'm using it. This is my measuring cup, and this is one one part of ACV, and I'm adding one part of ACV to. This cup it is, is eight ounce, so I'm just filling it up, um, just topping it up to make it eight ounce. So one ounce ACV, and then I had um, seven ounce of water to make it eight ounce. Whatever measurement you want to use is fine, as long as you follow um, one part ACV to four parts of water. And then what you want to do is you want to put it in your um, in your cup. Uh, in your spray bottle I bought a spray bottle and I tell you this works this thing works like it works like magic I tried it during the summer for some reason um, I wasn't really following my air routine and I was using um, different stuff apart from the stuff that I made and I found out that my scalp was unnecessarily itchy and uh, I tried this and it worked. I'm not going to spray this on my hair now because <laughs> I just had my hair straightened. And um, once I put this water in it, my hair is going to go back to its kinky, to its kinky nature. I don't want that for now. I want to keep my hair like this. But this is what to do. One part ACV to four parts of water. And what you want to do is that put it in your spray bottle and spray it on the scalp. Spray it everywhere on your scalp massage it in and leave it for five minutes not more than five minutes the reason why i'm asking you to follow that uh, measurement of one part to four part is that acv bonds it bonds i remember that the first time i tried it i did not follow um the formula that i was given and i found out that the water was streaming down into into my eyes and it 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 stung it was it it, 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 it was really bad it, 
it was my eyes literally burnt it burnt you know that that um acid kind of burnt my eyes so keep to the formulation of one part to four parts of water spray in your scalp spray in your hair it's not only for scalp you can also pray it for hair spray it on your hair it helps to keep the air shining if your hair is dull looking or it's frizzy it helps to smoothen and make the hair shine but i focus on my scalp because the foundation of your hair issues always start with the scalp so if you want to deal with the issues going on with your hair focus on the scalp so I spray it in my scalp. What you want to do is spray it in your scalp, massage for five minutes, leave it and let it sit. Sit about two, two to three minutes or three minutes to four minutes is the required amount of time that the acid activates on your scalp. So you want to leave it for it's safe to leave it for five minutes and then wash it off. The way that I do it is that I normally do it after I shampoo. So I would go in the back. When it's time to shampoo my hair, I would shampoo my hair with my own products that I make at home. And then I would use, I would spray this into my scalp, spray it all over my scalp, massage it in and let it sit for five minutes. After five minutes, I wash it with cold water. I prefer to wash it out with cold water because cold water kind of seals your cuticle. It seals the air cuticle and you know, when it seals it, it works perfect like that. That is how um, I love to use it. So that is how I recommend it. And I also recommend that for those of us that carry our natural air, um, I recommend that you do it two, three times in a week. It's not, um, I don't recommend that you spray it onto your scalp when you have braids or you have weaves. You have to be able to wash it out. You don't want to leave it out. Don't forget that I said it's acidic. You don't want to leave it in your hair. It has to be rinsed out. So it's safer when you do it on your natural hair. And for you to see result, it is something that you need to do about two or three times a week for you, for you to be able to see result. I tried this in summer, um, the whole summer when we were on lockdown. And I it, it was a lot of difference. It was a lot of difference because... Um, I was trying um, somebody's product. I was trying um, a product that somebody gave me, and I just realized with time that some, you know, my something was wrong with my scalp, and it wasn't because that person's product wasn't wasn't good. It, I, it, 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 I just felt like it might have contained a, a lot of alkaline in it, and so my scalp, the pH of my scalp became imbalanced. So I had to balance it, and I realized that ACV worked like magic and i have incorporated this into my products my shampoo now contains acv my conditioner now con now contains acv so if you buy my shampoo or you buy my conditioner there's acv um contained in it because i have realized that it works like magic you know it it it, it is it is something that you need to do frequently to be able to see result it's not something that you do one time and then you just abandon it let's not forget again let me recap that i said that acv is apple cider vinegar when you buy it buy the one that comes with the mother the one that says the mother that's what the one you want to buy you want to buy that one because it contains proteins it contains enzymes um, it contains a good bacteria that we need for our hair and I also say that um, I also said that a, any substance has a potential hydrogen of between zero and fourteen. The um, the potential hydrogen for ACV is between two and three, which makes it mildly acidic. From zero to six is acidic. Seven is neutral. Seven to fourteen, anything after seven to fourteen is highly alkaline. So if you're putting any product on your air. And you realize that your scalp is itchy. I want you to know that that product that you put on your scalp is probably is there's probably too much of alkaline um, stuff in that product. That's why your scalp is itchy, and your scalp needs to be balanced. The potential hydrogen for your air and for your scalp is between four and five point five. So if your scalp start itching and your air is always dry, you always have a problem scalp. Know that the potential hydrogen on your scalp is not balanced the home remedy that you can use to balance it is acv 
you use ACV, ACV one part to four part mixing water. One part of ACV to four parts of water mixed together, put in a spray bottle, spray it on your scalp, leave it for five minutes. About two to three minutes is what um, is needed for the, um, the acid in the ACV to activate on your scalp and for it to be able to do what it needs to be done. You leave it and then you rinse it out. It's advisable to always do it after a shampoo. And um, I said that some of the reasons why you would have um, an imbalance, potential hydrogen on your scalp is because of too much relaxes. For those of us that like to relax our air, for those of us that like to bleach, all the chemicals that we put on our scalp can cause our scalp and our hair to be imbalanced it can cause the potential hydrogen of our scalp to be imbalanced and this is why sometimes we have dandruff we have dry scalp we have itchy scalp and all of that so you have to use acid to balance it do not use raw acid don't say that i said that you can use raw acid do not use raw acid we are using acv because acv has been tested and trusted for so many years um, to be to work magic to to perform magic on our scalp and that is why we're using it and i'm sharing this video with you because it is something that i have used and i've realized that it is very effective and it works and that's why i'm sharing this video with us and that's about everything that i have um for us this afternoon i hope that you will go home and um, you will buy it a whole bottle of um acv is about seven or eight dollars in the store um, we'll buy it, we'll mix it with water, one part to four part, and um, we'll try it and we'll see how it works. Um, I hope to get um, reviews, I hope that um, people will try it and reach out to me and share with me how effective um, it was. Um, thank you all for joining me. Thank you, my friend, I see you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for all of those beautiful lipsticks that you make on Instagram. My friend here is on Instagram and she makes very lovely lipsticks and, um, and lip balm. And um, I'll put our um, Instagram page up on my link. And if you're looking for a good lipstick and a li good lip balm to, to buy, I um, encourage you to check her out. Um, our lipstick and lip balms are they're, they're beautiful and they are really very nice. Thank you for joining me. And um, in two Sundays from now, I hope to see you again. And um, interestingly, we'll be talking about an interesting topic. We'll be talking about skin bleaching, skin whitening and lightening and toning. And all of that is what we'll be talking about in the next two weeks. Thank you again for joining me. And um, I encourage you to try um, this DIY method and reach out to me and let me know how well it worked for you. God bless you and have a happy